hello hello everyone hi what's up it's me angie welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today appreciate you being here today we have another music and makeup that's why i'm fresh faced i'm gonna sit down hang out with you guys do some makeup and react and give my commentaries to some music that's old but new to me today i'm going to be listening to juice world's album or i think it's a mixtape juice world 999 i found this recently when i was reacting to a different song by him and from my understanding this is juice's third mixtape this track project is led by his hit single lucid dreams which was added to the track list when it was released one month later so before we get into it though i want to remind you guys to please subscribe to the channel if you're new here hi i'm angie i do upload twice a week and i make a bunch of different content Related to a bunch of different artists. Right now we're listening to Lana, Lana Lana Del Rey. I'm also a huge Swifty. I love Juice World. I love Lil Peep. And I make content related to those artists. I have this series on this channel called Music and Makeup, which I love doing. And if any of this stuff interests you, I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hang out with me every Wednesday and Saturday when I usually upload. Alright, let's get into it. Put on some moisturizer. Always gotta do that first. I am running out of my moisturizer severely, so I don't even know if I have enough to put even put on my face right now. So the first song we have here is called Moonlight. Yeah, girl, you know I'm far from perfect. I won't lead you on. That's the moonlight. Oh, that's the moonlight. Oh, yeah, this is fucking fire. Like I can definitely see the remnants of this song in his newer work. Like he definitely had like a style, and it was. It was really, really good. Uh, don't know when I met you, but I met you. Don't know why I love you, but I love you. Uh, it's something she got a me, and I told him, come to the moonlight, bro. Make love in the moonlight, oh. I've been myself since birth. And I like y'all. But tonight is feeling perfect. It's your favorite song. I'm trying to crazy, you know I really swear. I'm cutting too deep, I'm feeling like the sun. You know I'm far from perfect. Listen, I really am more of a lyric girly. I don't really know much about production and sounds and things that comes to like the actual music, the sounds. All I know is if something sounds good to my ear, if it doesn't, and this this shit sounded good to my ear. Yeah, yeah. On this track, Juice is letting his significant other know that he has true feelings for her and he won't play her, expressing how he's willing to fight anyone in the moonlight brawl just to win her over. Oh, some of these lyrics are so fucking good. It's something about the dress the way it fits you. I don't want to tell you to take it off, baby, but take it off. <laughs> some of these lyrics are kind of wholesome. Girl, you know I'm far from perfect. I won't lead you on, but tonight is feeling perfect. This is your favorite song. I know that mood right. I know that mood right. Dance the moonlight. <laughs> All right, next is Lucid Dreams in parentheses, Forget Me. This is such an iconic fucking song! I always wonder what this like audio in the background is. Like what are they saying? What are they yelling about? <laughs> I still see your shadows in my room. Easier said than done. I thought you were the one. I am the better one. I won't let you forget me. I cannot change you, so I must replace you. Oh, easier said than done. I thought you were the one listening to my heart instead of my head. It's all in my head. I have these lucid dreams where I can't move a thing. I'll do it over again. I didn't want it to end. Who knew evil girls had the prettiest face? You gave me a heart that was full of mistakes. I gave you my heart and you made hearts break. You made my heart break. You made my heart break again. So relatable, so real. Listening to my heart instead of my head. You found another one, but I'm the better one. Won't let you forget me. Ooh! 
don't we all do that? I feel like love is such a strong feeling and even when you see the red flags, even when you know this probably isn't the right thing to move forward with, you just cannot help but keep on going forward with it because it's like your heart is telling you, your heart's pulling you, even though your head's saying no, your heart is saying yes and sometimes it's so hard to decipher between which is the right judgment, you know? And a lot of people choose their heart because it's such a strong, strong feeling. Love is like no other feeling in the world. There's reasons why people are love addicts or in relationships after relationship after relationship because they love that feeling of love. Like love is just like the most beautiful, beautiful feeling. There's just nothing else like it. Oh, so fucking fire. Wow, oh my God. I didn't know that this was originally in parentheses called Forget Me. But I kind of like that name too for the song. But Lucy's Dreams is also such a fire name for the song as well. But Forget Me would have been a cool, a cool title too. All right, next song is Eye Contact Parentheses Look Me In My Eyes. Such a good beat. I like this little piano in the background. There's like a little piano moment in the background, which I think really is a fun little add to the song over like that just sick ass beat. All this fun little instrument things. <laughs> So good. <laughs> oh, oh. Wow. So the whole song he's saying she doesn't want to look me in my eyes. I think I just took her by surprise. She won't look me in the eyes, told her I was telling all the lies, told her I was telling all the lies. Then told me that her love was do or die and told her I heard it a hundred times and could really read between the lines? Yeah, I could really see right through the lies, told her I was seeing through her lies. She can't look me in the eye. Wait, wh why is he suspicious about her saying that she loves him? He's, he's saying she's lying, apparently, right? I mean, she's not looking at him in his eyes, so... I just took her by surprise, like, if, like, she's surprised by his response, by saying I could see the, through the lies, that, like, you're saying love me, but I, I don't believe you. On eye contact, look me in my eyes, Juice World wraps a somber track similar to the rest of Juice World 999, and details his struggles with love and heartbreak, dropping his usual references to Percocet and substance abuse. Yep. The Chicago native continues to deal with his breakups. Oh. Oh, okay, so maybe maybe he's saying, like, you told me, like, before that your love is do or die, and now we're breaking up. Like, I've heard this a million times. Like, clearly, like, that's not true. You're clearly lying to me. I've heard this a hundred times. I can see right through it now. Like, he's kind of used to this this happening. These breakups happen where they say that they're so in love, and then they break up with him. At this point, he's kind of over it. He's just getting high, not really trying to deal with it anymore because he's just kind of over it. I just took her by surprise. Probably like his response to the breakup, which is him not feeling really hurt about it. And maybe it's surprising to her. And so she's feeling like a little like awkward and doesn't look him in the eyes. He said, told her I was telling all the lies. Maybe he even is like saying like, yeah, I, I never really loved you either. Like it was all lies or something. I don't know. Maybe something like that. <laughs> All right, next is Rainbow. Oh wow. Say she 
So catchy. I like the little like the little like sparkly noises. <laughs> Such a fun little touch. So basically this is the rainbow he's referring to is like diamonds, colorful diamonds. Diamonds different color like Skittles, which and Skittles their like kind of slogan is taste the rainbow. Got white like Malcolm, no middle, referencing to Malcolm in the middle. Pockets so big, no little, saying the pockets are big so they could hold lots of money. He's kind of just flexing his wealth here, flexing that he has all these diamonds, money. And he also keeps it real. He says, I smoke way of problems, but they won't disappear. Rainbow, the fourth track off of Chicago native Juice World's mixtape Juice World 999, details his lifestyle with drugs and money. Although many people perceive his lifestyle to be like a rainbow, Juice contracts these claims in most of his music. This track, however, focuses on the positive side of his lifestyle, the diamonds, girls, and expensive items. Yeah, usually he kind of talks about how he doesn't like all the fame and all the money and how it's not comfortable for him. I mean, he does say that a little bit in this song. He says, came up with so much money, that shit don't make no sense. He does tend to talk about that a lot, how he struggles with fame and money. And here, he's kind of talking just more about how this lifestyle and all this stuff is so fun for him. It's definitely more of a positive spin on what we usually hear from him. All right, next is song five, Sticks and Stones. I'm assuming this might be a play on phrase sticks and stones may break my bones but words will never hurt me which is not true words probably hurt way more than sticks and stones Vivian is always fire oh Okay, so this is actually called Hurt Me on Goodbye and Good Riddance. Oh, interesting. It does sound familiar, so I probably have heard it on um, his album Goodbye and Good Riddance, which I have listened to with you guys here in this channel. Go check that out. I'll have it linked below. Crash my Man, he just thinks that he could just use these drugs to avoid all his feelings. He thinks that hurting him, he thinks it's helping him. Avoid how he's feeling, avoid the hurt. He's saying, six and stones may break my bones, but the drugs won't hurt me, the drugs won't hurt me. And then ex-girlfriends keep calling me, but the bitch can't hurt me, so I'm not worried. Which, I think the reason why he's saying that is because he's leaning on the drugs to not feel the hurt from his ex calling him. Which actually does feel hurt whenever his ex calls him, or whenever he, he thinks about his ex, which is why he's using the drugs. He thinks that he's not really getting hurt by his ex, but really he is being hurt. He's just covering it up with his self-medication and doing a lot of drugs, and in return, hurting himself for the long run. Hurt Me, originally called Six and Stones, is a quick, moving, yet somber track detailing Juice's frequent struggles with heartbreak and depression, describing his, his abusive relationship with drugs and coping. Yeah, abusive relationship with drugs and coping. Perfect way to say that. Through his substance abuse, he feels like he's invincible to the harm of drugs and develops a reckless lifestyle. Yeah. I mean, he did make such an impact of music while he was here, but I think he could have done even more if he was still alive and sober. I mean, imagine. I mean, I would have loved to see that day. What a beautiful day that would have been whenever we saw Juice World doing good. Like, I just wish we could have seen that. I hope he's doing okay in heaven. So the next song is Lost Her. I ball on these nose and I flex, did it on my own. Can't let it go. I can't let it go. Remember the car singing on my song, she knew all the world. And I lost her. Whoa, 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 whoa. Give me head in my job, girl. You thought these were Nike stories, but nine, 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 fuck them 
all at the model. I see me in the sea, won't catch me popping bottles. Ay. I'm in VIP, seducing all the models. Ay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just lost her, just lost her. Yeah, I just lost her. Ay. Chorus felt a little repetitive for me. It seems like it's just about a breakup. How, yeah, he might have all these hoes on his roster, but, you know, he lost this one girl that really meant the most to him. Remember when I met her in the trap, she was scrapping bowls, whipping work, running from the cops. She was cutting curbs in the car, singing all my songs. She knew all the words. Mmm. So she kind of lived this kind of same fast lifestyle that he did. Okay, despite his frequented heartbreak, Juice continues to boast to his haters about his money and lifestyle, which don't really mean nothing, you know? All right, next up, two cups, parentheses, everything's going my way. Two cups pour me up an eighth. Styrofoam cups or double cups are associated with, with the drug codeine, also known as lean. Okay, yeah. New drugs do you want to taste? New girl from around the way. New car you want to race. Yeah. But everything's going my way. I got it all. Seems what he's saying. He has a new car. He has new drugs. He's living life. Everything's going his way. Hmm. I need to like hold on hold on okay I think leaves look bad but it will have to do <laughs> okay back to the song Pouring up another cup. Yeah, just uh, just a song kind of talking about how good his life is. Makes you feel like things weren't really that good if you have to talk about it so much, you know? Yeah, sure, let's say you'll never go broke. You ain't gonna love a hoe. <laughs> like, you got a new car, whatever. Even though everything's going your way on paper, on the inside, not so much. That's why he's seeing all these drugs. That's why he's pouring up another cup of lean. Because he, on the inside, he still does not feel fulfilled, feel happy with himself. He still has his mental health issues that he's still self-medicating the very wrong way with cars and money and drugs. Says Juice World dives deep into his addiction to lean and how it makes time slow down for the rapper. Mmm. Using his signature emo rap style, he raps out his well-known personal topics, including drugs, girls, and cars. Yeah. That's how that go. Double cup got my lean on. I'm in slow-mo. Got the green. Put the team on. Put the team on to his lifestyle? Song 8. Let me know. In parentheses, I wonder why. Freestyle. This production is really fucking good. It sounds so much heavier and so much like fuller, I feel like. You realize I'm the man and I'm in my prime, yeah. Let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know what's up with you. Oh. Just feel the vibe, just, just feel the vibe, vibe, vibe. Just let me know, let me know, let me know what's up with you. Let me know, let me know if you're comfortable. I found your vibe, and I, I found my high. Let's shut the sky, I'ma change your life. 
Do you realize I love the way you look me in the eyes? Don't kill my vibe. On top of my game, blank. We aren't the same. Huh. So the first part of that feels like it's about him finding someone and maybe falling in love with someone, but then he says, we aren't the same. I wonder why lame blank think they run things. I wonder why. Oh, now when we left, I wasn't right. So break up. And it's my time, I swear to God, I ain't waste no time. You ain't worth a dime. Okay, so maybe the beginning of the song is him kind of finding someone that he really cares about, he likes, and wondering why these other people think they got it when he's over here saying he got it all. He's kind of cocky. He got this great girl. He got the, the great vibes, maybe. And then the other part of the song, he's like, well, they broke up. And now he's feeling shitty about the breakup, but also at the same time, he's feeling very, like, cocky still and very kind of almost bitter, which I think is a common step after a breakup. But he does say, still my mind, you're still my mind. Says... Juice singing about a girl that left him while also pleading to her to let him know what he can do for her to stay with him. Mm. Okay. No, that's not my favorite song by him, to be honest. All right, last song, Until It's Over. Get my bread, then I get my head, then I get my closure. <laughs> he getting closure from got my beads then I got my head <laughs> I got my closure dead bolts in his head shouldn't have been a poser he's talking about like the ending of a friendship maybe like this guy was a poser in their friendship he wasn't a real friend and he's kind of saying that he's dead to him bullets in his head not I'm hoping not literally but just kind of figuratively so maybe that's why he says yeah I don't want no friends I'm a loner he has his money, he has his girls, and that's all he really needs. And this guy said to him, and so now he's just kind of, that's his closure, he's just, he's chilling now. <laughs> one more word, he don't know, my Brody got it on him right now. Say one more word, say one word, click, clack, lights out. Yeah, so this is about a friendship that ended, and he's kind of just flexing his lifestyle, how he's a loner, and, and just not to fuck with him. Yeah, he's just kind of claiming that he's doing good in life, especially now that this guy's in his life. Now that click clack lights out, this this poser, this person in his life is all in, in his life. Um, he's doing good. He got his closure. He got what he needed. Now he's just kind of balling and having fun. Until it's over, parenthesis closure it is the concluding track off of Juice Trois mixtape, Juice Trois 999. It features Juice's signature email rap style, which he uses to rap about having a meaningless relationship with the girls and being lonely at the end of the day. But he kind of talks about loneliness like it's this flex. But I think it used to be this thing where it's like, no friends, I'm good on my own, don't need anyone to fuck everyone. Which I think a lot of people thought was like honorable almost. He thought that it was kind of a badge and cool for him to say that. But I think nowadays looking back on it, it just seems so lonely and sad and prideful, you know? He says, I'm a loner, which he says with kind of a bit of pride, but I think it's just, if you really think about it, it's just kind of really sad. I think people in life are the best things in life. I think I think that's what life is all about. Not so much about money and fame and drugs and this and that. I think it's all about people. You could be in the shitty situation, but if you have really good friends, that's what makes the memories last a lifetime. That's what's so beautiful about those memories and moments. Even if you don't have a lot, you have great family and friends around you. Like that's what makes your life and your heart full. And in this whole mixtape kind of seemed to be about him having all this money and having all this fame and drugs and whatever, but him still feeling lonely and sad. Kind of proving exactly what I'm saying is like you could have all these really great materialistic things, you could have all the big things, 
but it's the little things that really matter most and that really make you full and make your heart full at the end of the day. The common theme throughout not only this mixtape, but I think all of his music is money, girls, drugs, heartache, heartbreak, and depression and anxiety. And clearly he thought that the money, the drugs is what, what would help him feel happy, but clearly it never really did and we saw what happened. Yeah, money doesn't solve all your problems. Don't get me wrong, I think money does, I think a good amount of money, a comfortable amount of money does make life a little less stressful, but too much of it makes things harder than it really has to be. Anyway, I'm done with my makeup. I don't love it. So that's everything I have to say. I'm gonna go in. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Appreciate you being here. And yeah, I'm gonna go in. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe before you go. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Love you, bye.